He claims to be a patriot and not a politician. His campaign cry sent a Minuteman to Sacramento. His name is Tim Donnelly. He shocked some by becoming the Republican nominee for the 59th Assembly District. That's L.A. County, most of the Angeles National Forest, and a portion of San Bernardino County. Tim Donnelly has some interesting ideas, and he's with us here tonight. Mr. Donnelly, thank you very much for coming down and joining us. Hey, Fred. Great to be here. Now, you were instrumental in forming the Minuteman Group here in California and keeping an eye on the border. You've also said Arizona's illegal immigration law should be brought to this state. Why? Well, you know, it's just common sense. It's really codification of federal law. All this talk about racial profiling is really a distraction because there's protections in existing civil rights law as well as in the Arizona law, SB 1070. Um, the, the key to it is actually that it will... It will um, give local law enforcement a mechanism whereby they can use that as a tool to enforce existing immigration law. In some cases, you have people that have been um, arrested three and four times and never deported for driving drunk. Well, that, that's a danger to our communities. We need to take care of that. The other key part of this is that it will end sanctuary cities. Every politician says they want to end sanctuary cities, but none of them has a plan. This allows the citizens to sue the government if they put a sanctuary policy like they did up in, Sac in uh, San Francisco, and that policy resulted in the, in the direct deaths of, of three members of one family, the right. Bologna family. Right. So I, I think it's really important that we, that we address that issue right now. People are really upset. Eighty to ninety percent of the people want this illegal immigration crisis solved. So. Well, now, uh, let, let me jump on that because you've also suggested that we negotiate a prisoner exchange agreement with the government of Mexico. Uh, other than death row inmates or those with life in prison, you suggest that they exchange prisoners. So in this country, we'd send Mexican prisoners there, and in return, we get American prisoners. I know it saves the state money, but is that realistic? Uh, you, know, you know what? Actually, I think it is. Um, I think it's realistic um, from a number of standpoints. The first one is cost. We might save between $1 and $2 billion a year, depending on how many illegal aliens are in our prisons in California. Um, but we're spending $51,000 a year per prisoner. Uh, that's outrageous. And, and I think that, that we could actually have them incarcerated in Mexico back in their home country, let's say for ten or 12000 or maybe even 19000 which is the U.S. national average. So the bottom line is, um, you know, th this is something we really need to deal with. It would immediately end the overcrowding in our prisons, get the federal government, the federal courts out of our prisons. It would end early releases. So it's really a win-win any which way you look at it. And, yeah, maybe we could get back some of our um, American criminals down in Mexican prisons. Now, you do not believe in global warming. Is that correct? I, I don't believe that there's been any, any causative proof, and there's certainly a, an argument over global warming. But my real issue is with SB, or, or I'm sorry, AB32, which is a bad fix. It doesn't... It isn't going to solve the problem that the people who believe in global warming want to solve. Are you suggesting we're simply spending too much money on this? I'm saying that, that AB 32 is a jobs killer. It looks like it may cost us a million, dollar, a million uh, jobs, $173 billion in revenues. Think about it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to wipe out our trucking industry in California. It's going to drive the truckers out of state. So now trucking, which every product has to be trucked to market. So trucking will cost more, and the, and the, and the revenues from the trucking companies will be going to Arizona or Nevada. They're not going to be coming to California. All right, let me ask you a final question here. Um, and we've got about 30 seconds. You certainly believe in your convictions. But is there any possibility for the general election they may be too extreme for you to win? <laughs> you know, um, I think it was Thomas Jefferson who said, extremism in defense of liberty is no vice. And I, I think the problems in California, we've gone so far away from common sense that we need a little bit of radical thinking. We need, we need to have somebody who will say the things that nobody wants to say and pick the fights that people are afraid to pick. And, and you know what? The people sent me here. I only spent $23,000 up against people who were spending close to 170000 You know, I got here for a reason. I plan to, to fight the fights that the people want fought. Mr. Donnelly, we really appreciate you coming in tonight. Well done and good luck. Thank you, Fred. It was a pleasure to be here.